y equals 4x plus 1 and 4y equals 15x minus 8. The solution to the given system of equations is x and y. What is the value of x minus y? Right. So anytime you have a system of equations, there are several ways you can solve them. You can solve by graphing. You can solve by um, substitution. You can solve by elimination. Me, I'm, I prefer to do like a substitution elimination. There are definitely instances where graphing is the way to go. This one, it's any way you want to do it. If you're wanting to do it by graphing, you're going to put both of these into your graphing calculator and you're going to find the precise point where they cross, where they intersect. Be very careful and make sure you have the exact right point. Sometimes it can be difficult depending on the graphing calculator and the setup you're using. Just be careful there. And once you get that value of X and Y, you're going to do this X minus Y and get your answer. So there's not real much <laughs> to explain there other than look at the graph, look at the two lines, figure out where they cross. If you're wanting to do this mathematically, you can do it by either substitution or elimination. Either way, it works. Um, substitution is kind of set up here for you where it says y is equal to 4x plus 1. So since it's there's already a variable isolated, you know that y is equal to this. You can plug this in wherever there's a y in the other equation. That will let you solve for x, and then you can solve for y. My preferred method tends to be elimination, because like if I do this, if I do the 4x plus 1 in there, you get the binomial. You know, either way works. I'm actually, you know what, I'm going to show you both. And then you can decide what you want to do. I'm giving you choices, right? Right. All right, so let's say if I do substitution, I'm going to plug that 4x plus 1 in for y. I have 15x minus 8 on the right. So on this left side, I'm going to distribute. 4 times 4x is 16x. 4 times 1 is 4. Still on the right, 15x minus 8. And then I'm going to... Move this x over here by subtracting 15x from both sides. So I just have x plus 4 equals, and there's negative 8 on the right. Then to get rid of that plus 4, I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides, leaving me with x on the left and negative 8 plus a negative 4 is negative 12. So x is negative 12. And then to solve for my y, and that y equals 4x plus 1. I'm going to replace that x with my new negative 12, and I really cramped that in there, so I'm going to make it a little more. <laughs> 4 times negative 12, okay, plus 1. 4 times negative 12 is negative 48, plus 1 is a negative 47. So I know my x is negative 12 and my y is negative 47. Let me say, what is x minus y? Be careful here because we got these negatives going about. That would be negative 12 minus a negative 47, which would be a positive 35. Boom. Okay, so that is the substitution method. All right, elimination method, which if we have done this right, will give us the exact same thing. Elimination is where you want to make something cancel out. Um, in this case, I would think the easiest, we're going to add these equations together. I think the easiest is to make the y's cancel out because this is a positive 4y. I want this to be a negative 4y. So I'm going to multiply all of these by negative 4, and then those y's will cancel out. So when I multiply y by negative 4, I get negative 4y. When I multiply 4x times negative 4, I get, come on, there we go, negative 16x. And when I multiply 1 times negative 4, I get negative 4. I'm just compressing. You can write all these out separately, obviously. <laughs> all right, when we add all these together, I get negative 4y plus 4y equals 0. Then I get negative 16x plus 15x is negative x. Negative 4 plus negative 8 is negative 12. Then I'm going to add x to both sides. So I can get x on the left and the number on the right. 
and that gives me on my left side just x and on the right is negative 12. So here we are back again like we set up there x is negative 12. Then the same process I would take negative 12 and plug it into that original y equals 4x plus 1 which would give me negative 47 and we're back to x minus y negative 12 minus a negative 47 which is a positive 35. Again, whether you do graphing, substitution, elimination, they all work. They're all going to give you the right answer. Just be really careful in that X minus Y since you have negative numbers in both of those. Hey guys, if you want to help me keep making these videos, please check out my Spreadshop and Etsy stores. Links are down below where you can find fun things like this slightly sarcastic coffee mug or this slightly arrogant sweatshirt. <laughs> and if this was helpful or useful in any way, please let YouTube know so I can keep helping you and others like you. Comment, like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.